very free player with the Seva. He's on strike. It now emerges that it was the Sri Lankan captain and the wicket keeper who was the real villain. Hear it for yourself as Kumar Sangakkara orders his bowler to ensure that Sevak does not get that single run that would have given him his 13th ODI century. Looking to go through the field on the offside. So he remains on 99 of 99 balls. Looking to go through the field on the offside. So he remains on 99 of 99 balls. Looking to go through the field on the offside. So he remains on 99 of 99 balls. Looking to go through the field on the offside. So believe it or not, the real villain could be the Lankan skipper. That's what it's emerging from the stump audio mic that we heard. Clearly telling Randeep to deny Viru a legal delivery to face, stooping to the lowest level to deny Virendra Sevak a well-deserved century. Now here's the same man who allegedly egged uh, his bowler on to ensure Virendra Sevak does not get the run. But when he addressed the press conference later on, he tried saying something else and that someone else was to blame. Looking to go through the field of the offside. So he remains on 99 of 99 balls. If it's deliberate and I don't think he's that sort of player. If it's deliberate, of course, uh, I'll have to have a chat to him and make sure that uh, things like that don't happen again. Um, I'll have to also see whether there was any talk about it on the field um, uh, prior to that delivery. But uh, knowing Suraj, he's a really nice guy. Um, I have no doubt that that was not intentional. Maybe he was trying to bowl the Dushra and maybe get some more bounce off it. Um, but um, we'll have to have a chat about it and see. But I don't think it's... Uh, it's at all deliberate. Uh, he's not the type of guy to do that. So contrasting statement coming in from the Sri Lankan skipper. But let's uh, listen in to what Virinda Sehwag said just when India managed to win the game and Sehwag was denied his 100. This is what he said in the post-match presentation. Were you aware that it was a big no ball in the H6? I think, you know, bowler tried to bowl uh, no wide or no ball when batsman on 99 and when scores uh, get level. So it, it happens in cricket because nobody wants to, you know, uh, allow the batsman to score 100 against them. So it's fair enough. But later on, uh, during the press conference, Sehwag was more forthcoming with what he felt about the entire incident. Take a listen. Now, in the test match, I didn't put one ball in the one day cricket, I didn't put one ball in the 99, why did I put one ball in the 99? And the ball is not small, there is no margin, it's one foot away. I'm not the opposing team or captain or the player, I can tell you. But, what they said was that the captain or senior team members. It was the first time Sachin Tendulkar, when he was out of 99, he was out of the cut. He was out of the cut. So, it's not like that Sri Lanka has done it first, or the other time, or the other time, or the other time, or the other time, or the other time. They've done that because the team, nobody knows, no team wants anybody to score hundreds against them, so you know, they did that. Well, Vrinda Sevag was more forthcoming in the press conference, but obviously after he had realised what happened on the field. Meanwhile, former India captain and cricket expert Bishan Singh Bedi called for a five-match ban on 25-year-old Surya Randeev and criticised Sri Lanka captain Kumar Sangakkara when he spoke to Times Now over the phone. Yeah, I've also heard the audio and... Uh... I can't believe that uh, young Grandeev could have done all this uh, entirely on his own. He, he was uh, prompted to do it, and uh, he didn't do a bad job of it, except that he put the Sri Lankan cricket in such poor, uh, poor shape. I, I'm, I'm surprised what was uh, uh, match Jeffrey doing during the course of this game. And in my humble opinion, uh, this kid deserves a ban of at least five one-day matches for uh, this kind of uh, uh, spoiling the spirit of the game. You know, and this is not at all, uh, this kid should not be let scot-free. And uh, I, it's, it's so awful, awful to see cricket being played in such uh, uh, poor spirit.